Hey there, I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins and today I'm going to show you how to add closed captioning in Final Cut Pro. If you need captions for broadcast or web video like YouTube or Instagram, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to choose and create your closed caption format and role. Then I'll show you how to add captions and format them. Next, I'll show you how to adjust and arrange your captions in the timeline. And at the end, I'll show you how to import and export your captions. Final Cut Pro supports three different closed captioning formats. There's CEA 608, which is a standard for broadcasts and web video. There's also ITT, which is for content on the iTunes store and SRT, which supported by Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo. Since we're making this video for YouTube, let's use the SRT format and create an SRT caption role. In Final Cut, click on Index over on the left-hand side and make sure you've selected Roles. Click on Edit Roles and it brings up this window. Click on Captions and you'll see we've already got one caption role in there, the ITT standard. Let's add a new one, SRT. We've got English already in there, and if we want, we can add another language. We're good for now with English. We want our default captions to be SRT, so let's delete the ITT format and press Apply. Press Continue. And now we're ready to add our first caption. You can do it by pressing Alt-C or by going Edit, Captions, Add Captions. I love keyboard shortcuts, so I'll use Alt-C. Now let's add our caption. And let's play it back. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to just that. And now we'll add the second one. Putting my playhead here and pressing Alt C. Really fast ways to change the color. One thing to be careful with is using the delete key. So normally I would select this R and press delete, but if I do that, it deletes the whole caption. So if you need to edit the text and change it, use the backspace key. There we go. Let's take a look. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. That looks pretty good. You can edit the text right here by double clicking on your caption and changing it. Or you can select the caption and up here in the inspector you can change the text here. You can also format your captions. You can make them bold, italics, or underlined. You can change the color of the text as well. We can also use some of the keyboard shortcuts and tools in Final Cut to edit these. We can use the blade tool, press B, and then hover over the section and clip it. Now we've got two different captions that we can edit. You can also select a caption, press Control D, and enter the time you want it to be on screen. You'll see we've got this problem here. We've got two captions overlapping and that's not allowed and they've turned red. Select one of the captions you see we've got an overlap error here. We can't have them overlapping. We can fix it by shortening it, or we can select both captions, go to Edit, Captions, and select Resolve Overlaps, and it fixes it for us automatically. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. You can also import captions. Go up to File, Import, select captions. Find your captions and then double click on them. And you'll see we've got our captions in there already set up. And if we need to we can tweak and change and edit these no problem. There's a great place that you can get captions made for you. It's called rev.com 
and they charge $1.25 per minute to create caption files for you. So if you've got a really long video, you can use this service and they will create captions for you, import them into Final Cut, format them, adjust it, arrange it, and you're good to go. It's a time saver. It's totally worth $1.25 a minute. Now that you've got your captions all set up, there's a few different ways to export them. Go to File, Export Captions. Name your file, find the place you want to save it, and hit Export. This exports it as a file that you could add later on or give to somebody else to adjust for you. Next, press Command E and go to Roles. Here you'll see some options for our captions. First off, you can select which captions you want exported. We have them in SRT format and ITT. And we can select that and it will export it as a separate file like we did with File Export Captions. We can also tell it to include the text formatting, the color changes, the things that we did there. Another option we have is to embed or burn the captions in. That means the captions are included in your video and they show up and you don't need a separate extra file for them. We'll select SRT and press OK. Press Next and select where you want to save your file. Name your video and select where you want to save it and click Save. So here's our video with captions built in. I'm going to share with you two really fast ways to change the color. Now that you know how to add closed captioning in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to animate text. I made another video called How to Make Animated Text in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead, click here, check it out.